Okay, we are on video number six. Uh, six in the series, a few have been removed, but what we've done is we've moved from the uh, dragonfly look of the Schaffman style uh, helicopter frame. I uh, decided uh, towards the end I, I would do, wanted to go more towards a safer sit down model. Uh, what we did was we took the head section, if you'll notice that in the original videos, that's the with the motor mount attached to the front of it. All we did was modify that attachment uh, that went to the tripod frame down to a articulating uh, pivoting uh, center point uh, for a sit down model. You'll notice in the back what we have here is a very large Heim joint uh, capable of uh, handling a heck of a lot more of the weight than what we're going to be putting into it. That articulates in every direction. Um, what it does is the, the mounting plate here uh, is actual perfect center mass uh, and center of gravity. Uh, by the way, these springs back here just to hold it up for what we're doing here, but these will be replaced with a heavier duty uh, spring that once when the mount of the motor and all the other running gear is mounted onto the top part of this section here, uh, it, those springs will help center mass it uh, based on a standard sitting slash landed position. Um, as you can see there's just a single control bar uh, handlebar set up uh, down here. Uh, these are the controls. Uh, it's going to be simple. Uh, the, the controls for throttle are mounted here. Uh, you can see it's offset downward and that's in order to get the full, full uh, range of motion on the uh, throttle which we're going to need. Uh, again the instruments are basic simple of course we have the throttle. Uh, I'm using a Vortex system motor so that's what you see there is the, the Vortex stop start and um, switches. Um, coming up here what we do is we have a uh, water temperature gauge which is the lower one and that is in order to monitor our engine's water temperature, which is extremely important during the course of operation, testing, and flight. Top part is an hour meter, uh, an RPM meter, that'd be a motor RPM meter. And those are pretty much all the, uh, the uh, instruments we're going to have on that. Down here, we switch from the hand articulated rear rudder system down to what I did is build a a foot controlled push pull cable uh, setup, giving it more of a traditional feel towards uh, flight. And those cables, of course, run underneath and back up here to the rear rudder system. What we have here, that black part, is a 90 degree angle gear system. Uh, we've got return springs here that just keep it a little bit more fluid. Those cables are actually not even attached near the bulkhead because when you actually articulate this, this swings at a different angle motion. But I've got it now to where I've got a perfect fluid motion into my control pedals to our rear rudder for control. Now the whole frame, uh, again we're switching to a Vortex Super Rock 35 horsepower motor which drops us in seven pounds in overall weight over the Rotex FR 125 Max, which had a 100, or rather a 28.5 uh, horsepower rating. So we've gained some uh, loss of weight there, which is a positive aspect, on top of the fact that uh, the frame is still staying in about the same, if not a little bit more. The entire helicopter itself, with motor and everything mounted, is going to run uh, about 110 pounds roughly is what it seems like. With my weight uh, we're going to be, uh, well, we'll hope we have the uh, enough left. As you know from the other videos we're still using the standard hub that I had on the other one. It's just going to mount right into the mast there at the top and I am still using the 84 inch uh, ultralight Ivaprops uh, special order uh, mounted on the hub. We've got about an 8 foot diameter to it disc. So that's where we are now. Uh, hopefully we're going to be testing this year. Uh, we're going to see. I don't know if, if everything works out right and 
northern Pennsylvania doesn't hit winter soon. So that's where we are so far to date. We'll be back as soon as we have more.